Retro Gaming and Esports and Hot Topics and Clips from the streams around the world. Uh, and got profound thoughts too. I'm Marissa Roberto. And I'm Brody Moore. Oh. Hey, and if you're new here, it's cool. <laughs> we got you. Producer Tyler is going to throw two minutes on the board for our first topics. And at any point, if one of us gets out of line, the other can hit the trusty old mute button to put the other on lock for 30 seconds. Yeah, that's right. So place your bets for who will mute first. One's for me in chat right now, all the ones, and two for Demi over here. That's dumb. Why do you get to go back to Best Buy? Oh! Okay, <laughs> nice I accidentally, I accidentally <laughs> bought the shirt and then I realized after that I She's now look like I'm <laughs> part of the Geek Squad. It's fine. I'm going to own it, okay? Okay. I like it. Two minutes. Let's get into this. Let's understand the best and worst kind of drama streamer drama. Shroud, the current most popular streamer on Twitch, was playing Apex Legends when the game's developer Respawn gifted him 500 subs. While some viewers were happy with the subs, obviously, others were concerned that Respawn's donation was either a marketing technique or even a bribe. Some were even worried that this type of marketing could entice streamers to play games without declaring it an ad. So, Brody, what do you think of Respawn's current donation? Do you think it's kind of seedy? I gotta call out people that like are like, oh, this is an unannounced ad. Do you not realize what's already happening on Twitch? You you <laughs> really think, like we talked about this before, you really think Ninja is playing all these games because he wants to? He probably has games that he actually wants to play. Like oh. he probably wants to go back to Fortnite. But he what definitely, back to Fortnite? he's still he playing Fortnite. That's what I'm saying. He definitely yeah. gets paid to play these other games. So that already happens. Everything is a marketing thing. If you live in North America specifically, yeah. everything is an ad. Yeah. That is that is for sure straight up. So you're yeah. being d dis or delusioned. You're delusioned yourself I don't know whatever word it is Should I you're doing you? something to your brain yeah please now you're doing something to yourself and you're lying to yourself <laughs> thinking that you're not being marketed to <laughs> I think got you it out. <laughs> let you finish your thought there uh, yeah absolutely I do feel like a lot of these streamers especially with a lot of people watching have been given a lot of money to either have some kind of product placement on their desk they don't really need to declare as an ad at all mm -hmm. so you just need to be aware of that okay so if a company obviously is mm -hmm. giving streamers things I mean they they just want a little plug. They now, want a little play. Listen, I'm not saying that people haven't reached out to me to like put stuff on my Instagram. They have. Technically, you're supposed to say an ad, and I have to be selective with what I pick and choose. Just like these streamers, like Shroud, I feel like. At the same time, though, what is it is is it okay? Is the real question? Maybe not. I've seen it a lot in well, the video game industry where you know people. I'm sure you've experienced this going to cons and and expos and stuff. Developers will give you a little keepsake that you can yeah, take of home. That's Yo, gonna swag. influence your reviews Yo, give me for all sure. That swag, baby. I, I want all of it. I'm gonna make it rain you. all over me with swag. Hey. I love it. And I know it's not, you know, obviously it's a little bribey for sure, but it doesn't sway the, my feeling toward that company. It just. Uh, no, no, it does. Ah. Uh -huh. No, if I like the things, I will tell you about the things. If I don't like the things, I will be honest. But not everybody as is that way. As long as it's disclaimed out there and everybody knows that money was given to Shroud, then that's okay, all that matters. Okay, first of all, People money wasn't aware. technically given to Shroud here. Maybe, the, maybe there was money, but... That is money. It sucks. No, that is that literally money. Okay, yeah. You I, I dummy. Just think, no, no, okay, shout out. We're moving on. And then we're <laughs> no, there for Rainbow oh. Six Siege. Ubisoft has changed the way Friendly Fire works Ubisoft in the game. Idiot. Ubisoft, I know I said... Go away. If a player is killed by friendly fire, they have the option of choosing to either forgive the team killer or to punish them. Oh. If they choose punish, the reverse friendly fire system activates, which causes the player who dealt friendly fire damage to instead lose their own health if they try to attack a teammate huh? again. Now, I'm sure you end up shooting your teammates a lot. So do you, are you okay with this kind of system? <laughs> or is this the proper way to get rid of team killers like yourself? Wait, I don't, I'm sorry, I don't get this. So, so basically, if you shoot a teammate, okay. right, it's like your the teammate can then be like, okay, do I forgive this person? You know, was it an accident, or do I want to punish them? Uh -huh. So the next time they shoot you, they take the damage instead. Oh. Instead of hurting you. Oh yeah, for sure. I feel like the other person should take the damage if they're shooting a teammate. Absolutely, I feel like the punishment but it's, is sometimes it's an accident. Crime. Yeah, but you should be better than that. I have if definitely on accidentally team, killed some teammates before. Yeah, I know, but do you not then feel like the meta should just be if you accidentally shoot and the bullet hits your teammate that it shouldn't do any damage at all? I guess if we're going f for realism, uh, then yeah, you're right. But at the same time... Wait, no, I'd be wrong if that was real. At the same time, it's just... Like, no, no, no. If, if we're going for realism, you want to like... If you shoot your teammate, you don't want them to get hurt. Then they but would that's get. Oh like yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't know. I I don't want to get hurt. So like, if I accidentally shoot someone, like I don't I don't want to get punished. So no. 
<laughs> don't do this. I know to I don't want to get punished either. Please I mean, forgive me. I, I just feel like with all this stuff, like I want the pros to weigh in and take what the pros have to say about that, right? Because yeah. it doesn't affect us if we're just casually playing. It would affect them in their real game when they're playing competitively. At the same time, I feel like you, you made a point. I don't think the pros are hitting This is definitely directed towards like a pubs, right? Like just people just playing care? casually, uh, because that's how we play. Like we're not pros. No, this I know matters that. to us. Okay, as people. sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. I meant, what do I care? Because I'm not good enough to play this game. Oh yeah, she's just play sitting over playing Clash. In any way, <laughs> I wasn't gonna bring Clash up. That was you. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> Epic Games announced details for the Fortnite World Cup qualifiers this week, and let me tell you. It's ridiculous. It'll last for 10 weeks, alternating between solo and duo qualifiers, and each week will have a prize pool of $1 million US. Players that qualify will advance to the World Cup in New York City in July, which has a prize pool of $30 million. That's insane, obviously. So Brody, um, what do you think of these qualifiers? Do you think maybe it's uh, too much money? My soul hurts. Oh, little muffin, like what's wrong? All this money go around everywhere. And, and none of it's in front of us of right now. No. This is this is you gotta get crap. Good. I'm gonna go practice in Fortnite no, real quick. Not. No, I'm not. Um, really, I mean, it's great for the scene. Can it save it? I'm I'm more weirded out less by the money than by the alternating duos and singles. Now, are people having to practice different what? modes? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know how much that differs in Fortnite, but I know in other games, playing solos as opposed to on a team yeah. can really change things. And I would assume the same thing in yeah. Fortnite, right? But, no, but you've been, I, that, you've that's been, odd to me. Like you've been calling for, I guess you haven't been calling for a Fortnite established esports scene, but you've kind of been calling them out for not having an established esports yeah. scene. So would this then somehow legitimize them in some way Maybe. to ha like have an esports scene? I think the, the, the issue is that it's still, there is a little more structure. As I said, there is a final, tournament now, right, like the, with the $30 million yeah. leading up to that. So that's good. The, the issue is it's still, I don't know, it just it just feels like kind of like half but in there, you know, like they're it's like. It's not, it's not because they have to pull in. They're putting a lot of money. That is not, they're so definitely going money. all in on that. So but they money. have a lot of money. Like to them, that could be like nothing. That could still be them putting half effort in. I don't know. I want to see a little more on this. I need to see a little more on the structure. Hey. I'm still weirded out by the, the singles and duos. Like that doesn't seem. Why right, they, they're me, giving, it seems inconsistent. They're giving people with friends an opportunity and people without friends. And I an guarantee you, they're gonna update the game in the middle of or the day before a tournament I with don't some know. weird I stuff. Don't know. It's they've, a marketing ploy. No, they've taken a lot of flack for that. Yeah. A lot of flack for that. And I feel like they've they listen to a lot of the fans' feedback. They listen to Slasher, I'm sure, on Twitter too, who's constantly on them for it. Yeah. Um I feel like they'll they'll do right by gamers here and do right by competitors here and not do a change right before a tournament. This is their chance. Just because they, this is their final chance. If they yeah. do that stuff again, we know they're not serious about esports, and it's just a marketing. Okay. Thing for them. All right. Apple held a keynote yesterday where it revealed that it's creating a new subscription gaming service called Apple Arcade. The service is a monthly subscription that will give you access to a selection of paid games on the Apple Store. The service will be available on iOS devices, Mac OS, and Apple TVs, and importantly, you can download and play the games offline. Now, we've seen Google do this recently, too. I feel like they're slightly different services, but yeah. do you think this is the way that like gaming is going now, or is it just that that mobile market that's moving to the subscription thing? No, it's not just mobile market. It's literally everything. We see this on Xbox, we see it on PlayStation. We see it everywhere now. It's a thing. It's a subscription service to play games, as many games as you want, or the, the games they offer to you on this pass that you pay monthly for. They, everybody's followed this Netflix model now for a while. So they see that it's working. They see how much money they're making. They want to get in on it, too. And I don't blame them at all, obviously. But Apple has a lot of friggin' dough. So this is interesting, because there are so many game makers out there that have have to make freemium games in the app store. They have to make the freemium because people won't pay for these this games. This is what I'm saying. This, so, what would you still be playing Clash if it wasn't a freemium game right now? Well, I'm would not going to lie to you, Brody, and say that I haven't paid money service? in the game right now. Sorry? I'm not going to lie to you and say that I haven't spent money. No, no, no. But what, if the, what if the game $7. now you could only get this game through the subscription service? Like, are you going to be getting the subscription? You no, have an but iPhone. I don't. I, yeah, but I don't think that's the. I don't think that's a thing, though. I think you can still pay for the game if you don't have the service. Although I do have beef with Apple when it comes to the Apple Music, and I don't want it to be the same thing here because it seems like it is where you have the service, but like if you don't have the service, you can't even get in to like get individual things. So yeah. if that's the case here, and it's but it's overarching. So if I can get Apple Music, these games. 
anything else that I want to download for the one low monthly price, mm -hmm. then yeah, I mean, I might try it out. Why not? It's the same deal with like Amazon Prime. You get mm -hmm. your Twitch membership, you have, uh, you know, Prime Music, not that there's a lot on there, but still it's there. And also Prime Video, right? Like you, okay, they well, want to just compete with these since, other guys. Since this graphic wants us to compare them, Stadia wins by far. Stadia that, that is, is because you're Stadia, a Stadia, 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 no, 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 no. You're, you're no. such a fanboy. Stadia wins hands down because it's going to be available on everything. I, I have an Android device. I can't get the subscription service. Why are they just sitting in their own little wall garden here? Stadia is, Google looks to everything. They're like, you know what? We're going to let everyone use our service. As long as you have Chrome browser, you can use Stadia. That is a win. They're going to reach so much of a bigger market. Dumb, dumb. All right, now I got your throw. It's time to see what the streamers are up to and clip it. Our first clip comes from streamer Lovely Yan, who got some advice to help her wake up and, well, she might have gone too far. 선이 늘어나게끔 겨드랑이 안쪽을 이렇게 옆으로 쭉 늘려주세요 먼저 네. 쭉 늘려주세요 몸이 약간 활처럼 휘게 쭉 늘려주신 다음에 그대로 뺨 따고 후려쳐 이 새끼야 아! 그럼 잠이 확깰 거예요 <웃음> 너무 너무 시계 쳤다 <웃음> okay, uh, that, the equivalent, that is the equivalent a thing to do when you're in bed and you drop your phone on your face. On your face, yes, yeah. absolutely. That's the exact thing I was going to say because that's what I've done <laughs> several times. We just like one more game of Clash. I think it's more of a problem. Like if if you're if you're that tired, get off your stream and go to bed. No, because sometimes you just want to make it the money, and maybe she needed to make it the money. I know, and but you gotta there. be healthy, yo. I know, but Brody, like you can say that to any gamer out there. And yeah, sure, we gotta be healthy, but we also gotta play the games. There's too many games to play that's in time I'm, in your life. I'm, I guess I'm a bit of a hypocrite on that. You are. At the same time, it, so that, slap, that slap for sure probably worked. Uh, okay, so now I'm gonna take your throw because you took are mine and muted me. Okay. And when you ran Go out of gas, it. this is why you don't mute me. No. You, you should never mute. I, you can't. I, I you you wasted it. Go. Next we got XQC again, who used his hair appointment to educate a stylist about live streaming. Yeah, they're talking. Look, all people are, they're talking. Look how fast it goes. I don't know how I can read this. And now, this is how many, oh, sorry. Yeah. How many people are following? 11. Are looking now? 11.5? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, can I flash my phone? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> that's, Wait, dang that's dangerous. Um, so like, this is this is an interesting like, um, it's dangerous showing them the chat. Uh, this is this is a danger like a weird realm. Like now you're bringing everyone else's lives into the interwebs. Yeah. If, some of these people might not want to be out there, right? Yeah. Or like, do you think it's okay that all these people are doing these live streams, like I bringing their lives? and other people's yeah, lives whole, into that world now? This whole like IRL streaming thing is so weird to me because yeah. you are, yeah, you're out there and that's fine. You're putting yourself on camera and you're putting yourself out it's there. Like but there's so many reality TV. Yeah, there's just so many people out there that like, listen, when you normally watch reality TV, like these things are somewhat scripted and also everybody on camera has signed a waiver to be on camera. Like mm -hmm. this, there's still no legalities in place for people to not be recorded when we're out. Like we can just do that legally. You can, yeah, if you're in the public, um, you're consenting to that anyways, but. Right. but like, like you're also invading people's privacy. A lot of people don't want to be on camera. A lot of people don't want to live this world that we live on camera, in this life, on Twitch, or wherever it is when we're when we're live doing anything. Like it's intimidating for a lot of people, but also like people want their privacy. And I don't know if it's okay that we do stuff like this. Specifically, like whatever XQC, like I don't have I have like minor beef with him, whatever, but like I don't like is this his life now? Is he IRL? Like he just he's gonna do this now because this is how he's gonna make money. I do kind of feel bad like I, I have feels about him. It's like he was kind of <laughs> jaded by Overwatch League, but he did something wrong to well, it was his cause fault. it. It was definitely his fault. So then he's kind of been blacklisted, but he's kind of in now. I don't I don't know. I guess we'll just keep watching his life IRL to see what he's up to. I go ahead. I'm not. That's for sure. Okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We'll just show clips uh -huh. to annoy you. Uh, right. It's now time for my favorite thing ever: taking pros tweets and putting them on the show so we can sip the tea and put their biz on blast. Oh, uh, your drama box. Our first shut up. <laughs> Our first comes from current fighting game pro Dragon, who shares his sweet moment. Well, shares a sweet moment with Katana, and Katana. Here yeah, because it's set to somewhere else. Whatever. I don't need it right now. Oh! Oh! <laughs> He's so excited. Yo, I'm, just I, a glimpse of Katana. He was they, so excited. This is, and this is just why I love the FGC. Like, it's just that unbridled excitement of like, 
just being hype about the game you love. I know, and but that, also the character that he, he named himself after. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So you named yourself after a character that you love, right? I did. Not a video game character. Well, yeah. Leaf, well, a book series. Yeah, I used to read. I used to be all smarts and stuff. Okay. Uh, yeah, Leaf. It was the main character of Del Toro Quest. Go read it if you're in grade 7 and 8, because that's the reading level. But. Okay, so I guess if, you, if they created some kind of anime for this character, you would lose your mind. They did. Oh God! There is there is an anime. Actually, when I was 15, I could go on around this. When I was 15, <laughs> I wanted to play that character in a movie, but then they made an anime, so I didn't watch the anime because I was a little bit salty. <laughs> but now, now I might go back and watch the anime now that I'm older and a little bit over it. Oh, muffin, and then yeah. record yourself IRL stream. Okay, record IRL stream. So you can clip you losing your mind Nobody with leap over leap. Nobody wants to see that at all. I do. All right. Well, well, one viewer then. Okay. Anyways, on a more serious note, though, pretty sure Smash Pro Anti has had just a bad experience with his last ride. Mm -hmm. He tweets, taxi drivers, I hate Uber. They're ruining our business. Also, taxi drivers, drives recklessly, doesn't pick up black people, scams foreigners, etc. And I just got to say, mm -hmm. can't disagree too far with him there. Taxi drivers yeah. are just so entitled to their industry mm -hmm. right now that they mm -hmm. think, uh, and, and they think they're above the law, too. And they I haven't mean, adapted we, with the times. We don't want to generalize all taxi drivers, of course. Well, we're certain ones. that there, of course, some sweet ones out there. Absolutely, I know. I just got in an. I was in a lift actually um, in Austin, and the driver mm -hmm. told me that when they first got lift there and first got Uber, because he was driving both, mm -hmm. um, a taxi driver pulled up beside him, saw that he had people in, and he had a sticker on his car. Mm -hmm. He was drinking a huge soda, like a fountain drink, and he threw it out his window at the driver. Like oh, full Jesus. on, yes, full on, because they're like, you're ruining us. Like, like this is your fault that we don't have jobs. That's basically, whack. I know. I mean, like, and the thing is, like, here it's not as bad as like you go to some other countries too. That yeah. like, scamming foreigners thing is absolutely it's real. real. The good thing with any of those rideshare apps is that you know what you're getting. Yeah. Get with the times, taxi drivers. Uh oh. Come on. Coming Get them with out. it. All right, it's time now to move over to them COD tweets because they be spitting hot fire for a full <laughs> week straight. This one is wholesome and feel good. I swear. Uh -huh. Okay, so Zuma tweets this photo of accuracy holding a controller that reads, go outside and get some friends. <laughs> Jesus. So Attach loves it, obviously. Looney reveals underneath that that it's a commercial. So, mm -hmm. um, well, here's the last half of that commercial for your viewing pleasure. Kappa. You should get a real job or be the game changer. This will rot your brain or be the game changer. Girls, just sit and watch, or be the game changer. Go outside and get some friends, or be the game changer. Be the game changer. Control free. Be yeah. the game be changer. The ga Yo, Mike. Cringe fact, like I don't, yeah. I hate that word. I absolutely hate it. What, game but changer? right now is a good time to put in the comments and in the chat. Cringe. Yeah. Because like that, yo, know, I like the message. Like good, good message. Like saying like, screw your stereotypes of gamers, yo. Yeah. We can, you know, none of those are true anymore. You know, yeah. like go get friends. We no, have friends. But I mean, but like the way you did it, man, that was not I know. right. Listen, uh, he did actually tweet underneath um, what Zuma had put out there because everyone yeah. was kind of just like, oh my god, is this real? Um, he had said that first of all, the director, because if you see his face, obviously he's got kind of like a. Whatever Seriously. face, the director was telling him to be like serious <laughs> and like just have that whole moment. He said he knew in that he knew while they were filming that this was gonna get memed. Well, for yeah, sure. no like, kidding. Like, that's the thing. Like, obviously, he did that. He he did that for money, right? Yeah. Like he's gonna. So do we do we hate on him for getting paid? I don't know. Not, like not really. No, we're we're hating on the people that put that thing together. Yeah. It's clear yeah. that the people that put that together can't eat the player, didn't baby. know much about it. Heart's in the right place. I'll give them that. But yeah. definitely. Be the game ouch. Changer. Yeah. Try that one again. Be the game changer. All right. It's time now for crowd controlled. We will get all the best posts from around the web. DH Animations gets us rolling with this tweet saying, "How character selection be in fighting games?" Hmm. <laughs> yeah, straight up, right? <laughs> I love this one. It's like it's like Goku and Sonic Fox did a fusion yes. huh? Oh my god. Oh my god, are they gonna do it? <laughs> you can't find the pose. Oh my god. No, I wanted them to do <laughs> I wanted them to do like a smash one. A smash alto was just like Oh the collapse of it. There, there was none the of, soft clap. There was none of that. 
<laughs> That's brilliant. It's such a, like, every game. No one, like, it's just epic ready pose. Yeah, yeah, of course. Well, you, you, gotta, you gotta look ready. Style. Like, you don't want to have your character just, like, sitting on the couch or something. Out of those characters, though, which one are you picking? I'm going for um, Sonic, Go Fo Sonic Goku? Goku. Yeah, Sonic Goku. <laughs> Sonic Fox Goku fusion. <laughs> Looking fine. <laughs> Straight up. Listen, uh, Sekiro has been sweeping the gaming world, but one player has found the true reason for, game, for the game existing after he gets lost in a dark room. Uh -oh. You could not escape from Todd. All right. All right well, so. Which Todd are we talking about here? Uh, well, you're about, you're gonna I see. think we're in. Yeah. Where are we going? Uh oh, it's dark. Is there, is there gonna be a monster? Uh oh. No! <laughs> <laughs> da, da, da. <laughs> We've elevated to a new level. Jesus. Another version of Elder Scrolls, because Skyrim is everywhere, friends. Th that's, that's, I, I really want to see the day that that happens. You know, we have it on our, our Samsung fridges and, and Apple watches now, <laughs> but the day that we actually get to play, like in Uncharted, you could play uh, Crash Bandicoot yeah. in Uncharted. Yeah. I'm waiting you for the day we get to play Skyrim. Skyrim in other games. I mean, that would have been amazing if that were the case. Yeah. Like, somehow, surprise, Bethesda, Spugat. There is no Elder game, Scrolls yeah. 6. It's all Elder Scrolls 5. Uh, Anyways, I we got to move on to that. our last post on Unmuted before we send you off. And I know Marissa loved uh, yesterday's Pikachu. Oh, God, what? So I thought I would let her see another. This one is from Morkhole on Reddit. <laughs> what? Why? Yo, this is, what's his what? voice? He's probably like, hey, hey, guys. What? What'd you what you doing over there? What is this? This is the new Detective Pikachu. I have to redesign. Oh, okay. It's not. Is... Don't be debated. What? I don't. Can you? <laughs> I don't know why this makes me gay. It's like the way the chin is like so low on the body. It's like. Hey, you... hey guys. Can you imagine seeing like a character like that? Like IRL? Yes. No, like that's what trips me out. This I is like snuggle. Narnia garbage. I snuggle with that. And just cuddle right oh, up to it. No. See oh, um, well, uh... We get to still see her. <laughs> I don't that that is the best face. Either that or a Lenny face. You know what? I don't. I promise you, I'll have another one for tomorrow. I don't want any more of these. If like, you guys my have, gay reflex is very high. If you guys have weird shaped Pikachu's, please send them in. Okay. We need them. <laughs> Wait, I didn't know where you're going with that. We okay. need them for Marissa. Listen, right. uh, shut up, Brody. Let us what? know who you think won the battle today. Craig Asm in chat. I. Craig Asman chat for me. I made it the same. And Monka S for you. I don't like that, but whatever, I'll take it. Listen, we'll see you again next time. Hit the follow button on all our socials at Squad State. <laughs> see you tomorrow. Go back to Best Buy. I